150. Important part. That was important. We're really getting busy from under the gun with the King 10 suited. And again, chip leader Jorstad going to be getting involved with a couple of jacks just two seats over. Opting to just call with players Fold. behind. On Pardo, going to get out there in the big. So oh. Brewer and your stats. I'm going to lock horns. Two good friends. Oops, no friends at the poker table. <laughs> no friends in the booth either. Wow. Nah, that's just shade. Unnecessary shade. We <laughs> head to wow. the jack nine eight board, and Brewer has flopped the second nut flush with your stat flopping top set. How about this for a dynamite flop? And with Brewer coming in with the under the gun open and now checking this flop, certainly Brewer can have a lot of. Hands like ace king, ace queen, but no clubs. That may find some check calls, but don't want to bet on this texture. And Brewer representing the weaker part of a pretty strong range from under the gun with the call. Well, how oh my God, what is happening here? And note that Brewer is drawing live. <clears throat> but just immediately looking over at Espen and has to know that when Espen calls preflop can certainly have nines, eights, and jacks sometimes as well. Just flatting there. Pocket tens, of course, also a possibility. But can't love the board pairing when you have a flush against a range that can have a lot of boats. Buckle up, ladies and gentlemen. 670 in the middle. Quads on the turn for the chip leader. Action on Brewer. <coughs> Drawing to the queen of seven of clubs. Has checked over. So Orstad comes out firing with a size of 480,000. Immediate discomfort. For Chris, knows that your stat can nines, eights, jacks, perhaps jack nine suited, as well as stronger flushes. <laughs> stronger <laughs> flushes are concern as well, Maria. You know, maybe an ace <laughs> ten, or sorry, an ace five, an ace queen of clubs. Yeah, early position. I think that ace queen of clubs can just flat the under the gun open. And it feels so gross but with the presence of that straight flush possibility cannot fold here but you can just tell he doesn't love it I think at this point Jostad knows that he's up against the legit strong range over pair with a club a flopped flush 1.6 million in the middle <laughs> For a sight of the hand, third in chips. Forget Pardo. It's currently on eight bigs. Would be a disaster for Brewer to go home in eighth. Does Espin go for the jugular? Does he go for it all? As you already mentioned, with Brewer calling that turn bet, your set is going to give him some very strong holdings here, but also knowing that he covers so much of the board. Oh, oh. crazy fucking hand. I <laughs> I bought the fucking flush. Not often you hear I Brewer. Value, but I don't know if I can fold. 
Immediately throws out all of his time extension chips, Maria. Has 17 time extension chips in front of him. I don't, I don't think I'm supposed to call it time. It's a really wild fucking hand. Five seconds? Uh, just, just take the time banks. Don't, don't have to tell me five seconds. I have infinite. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, this is a nuts fucking spot. All right, all right. Let's think about this. A rare treat for the viewers around the world as we get to hear some of Brewer's thought process. <clears throat> you have Mace, 10 Ace, Queen of Clubs. Uh, you don't have Ace, 10 Clubs. You have some Ace, Queen of Clubs. It's probably the only nut flush you have. You probably three bet low ones. Probably three bet jacks. One flat jack, nine suited. Those nines and eights. Nines, eights. Ace, 10, Ace, Queen of Clubs. Counting the combos of value hands that have him beat here. And just wondering how often does Espin have off-suit combos of ace-x with the ace of clubs that he right. calls the open from under the gun with? I know it sounds crazy, but I don't think there's that many. How are you doing? You have a good thing. I work with seven, six of clubs. I'm not going to say No. Uh -huh. <laughs> so there you have it, giving Espen nine value combos. <laughs> Need you to have like sevens with a club and just fucking run it. Alright. <clears throat> I might fold this and I'm wrong. It's just like the worst decision ever, but. I think Brew is coming to the right decision here, Maria. Well, if you don't think your stat is going to flat your under the gun open with, say, ace 10 I mean, like, I mean, I don't think you're bloody. It's just so hard to fucking have a bluff here. Exactly. And we'll only really have, like, ace jack off or ace queen off because he'll three bet ace king I'm gonna off. Call very, very unoften. But I am going to call sometimes. It sounds like Brew is resorting to. Randomization. No, don't leave it up to chance. Just find the fold button, Brewer. You can do it. What's interesting? Just, just don't be value. It's a club queen. Makes the fold, Maria. Yes. Lays down the king ten of clubs and lives to fight another day. And he's going to look back on that one and give himself a real pat on the back. See, he's still in this fight. That's an insane fucking spot. <laughs> <laughs> I see him for poor people. I would call it enough flush, but. Bravo, Brewer. Well, Bravo. What was, well, what I wanted to say is that actually. <laughs> last night, I mean, Brewer. Did something very dumb. I don't know. The wild fucking hand. That is. A world put him out fog. of his misery. Just tell him I can't. Do, I can't handle just listening to the agonizing over it. Um, <clears throat> Chris Brewer last night. X. I hate, I don't know. I hate saying that. Tweeted what? that he uh, butchered a hand to end Maybe the night last night. Clubs queen, but I don't know. It is. It is. I three bet it 